Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Age of Overlord, the latest booster set from Konami. Uh, it's been a while since we've had a product release. We were getting them really quickly there for a while, but uh, luckily we had a little bit of a break, so we took a took a short hiatus, but we're back at it. Uh, would have done this earlier, but we had some shipping issues with uh, USPS. Uh, what can we say? So... Uh, other than that, we'll jump into it, see what we get. Obviously, there's some great cards in this set. Nothing like the SP Little Knight, though. I think it's one everyone wants. Quarter Century Secret Rare is going for just over 450, I think, currently. But um, yeah, I I order all my stuff from Sassy Auto normally when I get sealed, and uh, yeah, just not getting good shipping times. Um, nothing on him or anything. Just USPS is killing me. We got Dark Hole Dragon, first ultra rare right off the bat. So that's always a good pull to see. Um, and then we'll just get through these. Tistina. A lot of Tistinas in this set. But um yeah, yeah. You know, it's like estimated delivery date was Friday the twentieth. Got it on Wednesday this past week, and when I get stuff in the middle of the week, nothing I can do about that. It's just, you know, with work and everything. We got Snake Eye Oak. As a super rare, and then Alpha Summon. We'll just finish off the pack here. So, if you guys are getting dismal ship times with USPS, let me know. Um, but in the uh, in the weeks leading off, as we lead up to Rarity Collection, we got Starry Dragon Cycle as a super rare, and then Doatic. Daybreak, TG Close, and XYZ Interest. Got to do a little bit of a recap for you guys as we head into Rarity Collection. So I've been selling off some product here. Cards, obviously, we're going to get like, hit with massive reprints. Things that are just going to get taken out. We got SP Little Knight as a secret rare. Let's go. Best secret rare in the set by far. So... As I've been talking here, saying that we have been listing products online, uh, you know, selling them out, moving them out to get rid of anything that's susceptible to a reprint. Don't want to get hit or killed uh, like I did on Dark Arm Dragon, not Dark Arm Dragon, uh, Blue Eyes Jet Dragon, things like that. We'll take a look. Best secret rare in the set here. If this was quarter century secret rare, like obviously this pays for the box by itself, but yeah, uh, I don't need this. I'm not gonna play it. This thing is supposed to be like a deck staple. I don't understand fully why, but generic link two, right? Killing everything. So yeah, uh, this one's going up soon. Shout out to uh, SP Little Knight. I don't know what it does. But I know it's the best secret rare in the set, and I know it's the best quarter century secret rare. So uh, let's go in straight into a top loader, and we'll be listed soon because we're getting rid of anything that is susceptible to reprint. So, like deck staples, I sold all my copies of Chaos Angel because Chaos Angel is basically meta staple right now. We got Pendulum Evolution. Um, things like that. Anything that's like really susceptible that is not like a collector rare, ghost rare, things like that that I don't seed spitting, saplings that I don't want to keep for collection purposes. So I'll do an update kind of of what goes into a thought process there. But best uh, best secret rare in the set, and uh, we've got a win already, and we've got like. 16 packs left. I don't know. Can't count. Switch point is a secret. It's not a secret. It's a super rare. And then flash through those real quick. All right. That's what we're talking about. If we can get the quarter century secret rare version, I might keep the keep the plain secret. We got Testina, the divinity that defies darkness. Uh, don't really know where these all stand ultra rare wise. Typhon is the best. Rose Papillion of the ones in the set. So that's two ultras, one secret. We're just 
obviously like if we can if you get a double SP little night box you'd be you'd be on the ball here synchro rumble and then um but yeah like things are just super susceptible to reprints that we don't know what's gonna be in rarity collection but Konami's like just destroying collection value here on us um, which is great for if you're playing the game playing staples but like Chaos Angel, I don't need Chaos Angel, right? Exceed the Pendulum. It's a reprint there, but like I'm never gonna play. I don't need it. I don't know why it's important. I know it basically has some great effects, but right, I I can't tell you what deck to play it in, but it seems meta defining because it runs in a lot of a lot of extra decks. So in the day those are ones i'll get rid of got happy and then we don't need to see the rest of those those are common there's a lot of uh snake eyes stuff in here i did get rid of one of my snake eyes cards that came from one of the prior sets cyberstorm access had a lot of a lot of good stuff to move in it we got fire recovery Got her basically anything from Soul Burning Volcano. That box was trash in terms of anything other than that Ghost Rare. All right, this is our 12th pack. We got XYZ Armor Fortress. So we've knocked out the first column. So it looks like we're going to get three, three hits per side per column over to the box. Not bad. Let's see if we can get anything big. Curse Bride Doll, Dragon, Pit Knight. We got TG, Glaive Blaster. That's the first pack on this side, too. So, is that a. Uh, are we going with this is mappable as well? How many packs were we in before we got the SP Little Knight? Give me two of them. Give me two SP Little Knights. Make this a big hit box. All right, we got Wings of Light as a super rare. All right, we got Asset Mountis. Watuna, Exoraptor, Wakiyuki, Veta, something, and then a couple other ones. Throw those in there. Just some bulk commons. Go through those some other time. I'm looking forward to Rarity Collection. Not to say I'm not, but I'm just making sure that I'm not holding, holding the bag on any Big cards. We got Imasty Glory of Oris as a secret rare. Pretty sure this is a pretty decent one in the grand scheme of things. Not sure. It's a. Uh, it's quarter century is not bad, but we could always. Always be doing better. Leela Rap. Looks like we're down probably just a one ultra left. Embrace the Testina. Awesome. We got SP Little Knight though. Whereas well, like I had so many copies of Blue Eyes Jet Dragon uh, from Battle of some Chaos. And then it got reprinted in the tins. And we got Kevin Sheaf Shanoof. Protector of Horus, Protection of Horus. And I got hit. And I'm like, I don't want to, I'm not going to be Chaos Angel. I don't want to get hit there. I don't want to get hit on any of these other things that I'm not going to keep. Like, I'm never going to play that in a deck. Like, I'm making Slasher work. Original Sinful Spoils, Snake Eye, as an Ultra. And by my guess, if this set set seems mappable, so we should be down to just 
supers at this point. Snake Eye Birch. All right, we got Wat Kiyuki, we got Repeater. We'll just uh, skip right to Realm Elegy again. And then Shade Peacock, got a few others. Gotta have the mandatory knock over the camera. We got Tarai, Starring Night, Watuna. Oh, TG Mighty Striker, you missed stars align the shrine. All right, here we are. We've got Escape Goat, Curse Bride, Asset Mountis. We got Play of the Tistina. We got Poissonnier de Nouvelles. And then last pack, maybe they slipped one in on us. Nobody knows. And we've got Supreme King Dragon, Watt Psychic, Pendulum Evolution, All Clear TG is our super, and we got nothing else. So our best pull is going to be SP Little Knight uh, in just the secret rare version, which is still a great hit. We'll take it, and it pays for the box. So I'm going to list this <laughs> for sale because I don't need it. And... Uh, We'll see you all for Rarity Collection. Take care and help us on our chase for a thousand subscribers. Hit that subscribe button. See ya.